Here we are at the end of our 2017 heli ski trip here in Revelstoke, Canada, Canada with um, CMH Heli Skiing and Pure Powder. Um, it's been unbelievable. Like we, we say this pretty much about every single course that we do, but having uh, having experienced this for the first time this week and doing it with the guys that we've been with, the, the 40 people that have uh, made the uh, made the trip out here, we can safely say that it is the, the most incredible ski trip that we've ever had the luxury to be part of. The guys that came here, they've um, stepped it up massively with their skiing. So the first two days that we did in Kicking Horse, from a technical point of view, really, really set them up perfectly for the uh, for the heli ski day, days that, that sort of followed on. Um, the heli ski days were incredible. Um, the landscape, the helicopter, the, the joy on people's faces, it was all just out of this world. Uh, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank everybody that did come out here and put all the, uh, the hard work in. Uh, we want to thank the guys from CMH, particularly the guides and the staff in the hotel. They have been absolutely incredible. They couldn't do enough for you. Um, we'd also like to extend a massive thanks to Charlie and his team at Pure Powder. Um, Enjoy the footage, all right? We'll make this a slightly extended blog just because the, the footage that we've been able to film with the guy skiing is uh, super, uh, super good. Um, thanks for watching and see you soon. Okay, Mike, uh, Morgan and Fred, copy, thank you very much. And Josh, copy, thanks, Mike. Nice, let it run, put a bit straighter, Rob. Nice, Aaron, open the turns up. Bigger turns, go a bit straighter. A little bit straight. You can see a loss of balance as a bad thing. We said this on day one. Think positively about those little way kind of moments. Think about speed of recovery. All right. Enjoy getting bounced around a little bit. I had a little moment. Was, Whoa, that one ski in the air. But it's fun getting back into it. You know what I mean? Yes, Abdul! Alex, how was last night? <laughs> <laughs> we squeezed every last drop out of it. Did you? Did you rinse it? We did rinse it, yeah. Awesome. When in Rome and all that, you've got to go and see what the town's about. So we had a little look about. And was, that, was that your preparation for today? Absolutely, very professional preparation. Um, I was ready for stretch class at 6.30, unlike you, Warren. <laughs> Rob was there, though. I was yoga in the bedroom. <laughs> really? <laughs> and then highlight your day today on the mountain? Uh, highlight the day, I think this afternoon, deep and steep in the trees. Um, I think all of us as a group making a lot of improvements. Just repetition and being so fortunate enough to keep coming back into the powder, you know, time and time again, means that the stuff we're working on, you just, it starts slowly and gradually to click. I know my tree buddy here, Michelle and I, over the afternoon, the last hour or so, just a massive difference just through the ability of repetition. And that's the, the benefit really of being here. Explain technically, what did you do to do your little breakthrough? What was it in the turn you worked on? Um, well, I think for me, it was keeping my arm forward, but most importantly around building up the pressure on the snow and, and, and actually feeling uh, the feel, I think, against the, the, the skis as opposed, as opposed to forcing the turn, so actually letting the pressure build up and then just slowing everything down and letting the snow take the turn and just, just using the, the momentum of the, I'm sorry, the weight of the snow as opposed to forcing and forcing and forcing. And for me, that slowed the body down and kept me facing down the fall line. Sweet. Okay, Dunk. You, oh mate, really getting yourself inside the turn there, Dunk. That's amazing. That's the most I've seen you move laterally. That is super good to see, mate. How's day three been for you, Dunks? Yeah, pretty good. Got better during the day. Finished off with a, a synchro ski with Rob here. He just about managed to keep up with me. Did he? Yeah, <laughs> fantastic. He's coming on well. I heard he's had a few uh, couple of little snags today, right? Was he? Yes. Is he? Did you notice him go down? Did yeah, he... I noticed that. Yeah, I'm sure there'll, there'll be a picture of that on the on the blog. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else have you done today? What's how many how many runs have you had? How many descents? I can't remember. Is it that many? Um, eight. Was eight. eight. Have we had eight? Yeah, it was yeah, it was about eight, I think. Yeah, mm. that's a lot, a lot of turns. Hey, yeah, a lot of turns. Mikey, how's your day been? 
Excellent. It's been deep and filthy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's steep through the trees here. It's been great. Fantastic. Highlights? Sorry? I think this last run, the snow's been beautiful. Boot top to knee top. Perfect. Yeah, no, it's pretty epic, isn't it? Yeah. Have a duel. How was your day? Oh, look at that. <laughs> awesome, man. Guys, <laughs> nice, don't come next year. It's <laughs> awesome, awesome. Highlight of the, highlight of the day? Uh, no, it, it's all highlight. Uh, it's, it's just amazing. Oscar moments. Oscar oh. moments. <laughs> really. Amazing, amazing. You think you see this stuff only in the movies, and the good movies, actually. Mm. And it's even better. Yeah. Truly better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. I wouldn't recommend you coming. <laughs> <laughs> Only us. Very lucky. We've had a very good snow consistency. Um, I mean, whether you're in the trees or out the trees, it is it is just magical. So, in the words of Snoop, I dropped it like it's hot. <laughs> Actually, the, the, the guys have been uh, they, have, they have named you Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Snoop Dogg. Uh, have you got the hat on you? The actual hat of yes. um... this is the famous hat. That was given to me, believe it or not, in the 70s. Yeah. Um, so we're trying to get you to wear a ski helmet, and, and you're thinking about maybe cutting that out and pointing it. Well, the... that's an option. Um, I do wear a helmet for bedroom activity. Do you? Um, yeah, which is important. Yeah, well, that is, isn't it? Um, you know, you've got, you've, I'm a safety man yep. in the bedroom, but, you know, when you're out in the open air, I need a little bit of convincing, perhaps. I, I like the wind through through my ears, um, but you know, one of these days, I suppose my wife's going to get her way, isn't she? <laughs> Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Uh, I've had a good game of cricket too. Have you? The group below were bowling actually quite straight. Yeah. Um, I scored four or five sixes. Did you really? Yeah. I did get cocked before wicket on a couple of occasions, <laughs> but uh, no, it was. Uh, I'm being now bombarded by my own yeah. group. They're supposed to be your pals. Listen, you're meant to be my friends, you tossers. <laughs> and I'm being interviewed. <laughs> Why are you Guys. Right, that's it. None of you are having sex tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, end of, end of day three. If, I tell you, if the next four days are like this, it's going to be a blinder. It really is, because the snow couldn't be better. It's not entirely what I expected. I thought it was going to be big alpine uh, skiing, which uh, probably would have bored me by halfway through day one. Uh, there's a lot of technical stuff in amongst trees, but you know, once you get your rhythm, once you get your eye, and once you just forget the fact that you might end up upside down in a tree well, um, <laughs> just ignore that fact. Don't let them scare you. Just go for it. <laughs> Drop it like it's hot. <laughs>